Greetings Mary Meat folks, Symbian here. This video is going to be on designing your own pagan spiritual retreat. Now, first of all, what is a retreat? And why do people attend retreats? Well, a retreat is designed so that you can go and detach yourself from all your surroundings so that the only things that are left are your connection to yourself and your connection to your divine masculine and your divine feminine. No other distractions. Now, designing your own retreat is not all that difficult. Uh, uh, it has some disciplines and doing the disciplines is all part of the, the uh, uh, retreat. Now, you either go to a retreat because you be have become numb to everything around you. You've lost connection to everything around you. Or you've lost connection to yourself. Or you've lost connection between you and your your Godhead, your uh, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine. A retreat is something you would attend if you're looking to reconnect with any and all of the above. Now, designing your own. <coughs> you take time, uh, either from a few days uh, to a week or even a month, if needed be. It's left open-ended so that you continue with your retreat uh, uh, until you feel that you have gained as much benefit as you can or as it is available. Now, the thing about uh, uh, retreats is that for the time of the retreat there are no distractions whatsoever absolutely none nobody knocking on your door saying can you help me with something in the kitchen uh, nobody knocking on the door saying you've got a phone call on line one or uh, your brother is mad as hell and pissed and wants to talk to you right now no distractions at all you would turn off your cell phone you would advise people at home that for a certain period of time each day until you say otherwise you do not want noise or distraction you want silence so that you can uh, 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 do what you need to do all right now that isn't as easy as it sounds and a lot of people's family members don't understand why and they will try and distract you anyway. This is something that's very important. You have to get across to everybody no distractions. With distractions, uh, either the phone or knocking on the door or the internet or uh, uh, updating your Instagram account or checking your emails, that is non-spiritual stuff that you have to put on the back burner. The purpose for your retreat is between you, your higher self, or your core ID, or you and your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Uh, depending on how much importance you put on that is relative to uh, how important it is for you to convey that you can't have any distractions. Your family members need to understand this and then they need to follow suit on it and respect your request for silence and uh, no distractions for that time. Alright, that's the main hurdle. Turning everything off, your cell phone, Instagram, uh, uh, putting your iPads away, putting your iPhones away, uh, uh, turning off uh, uh, any distracting electronics, uh, uh, not shutting down the internet, but turning your monitors off so that you're not constantly looking at them. You need no distractions between you and your purpose for, for doing the uh, uh, retreat. Alright, now for a retreat, some of the disciplines that people can do is constructing your temple or your room to turn it into a temple 
for the purposes of this retreat. Uh, uh, constructing your uh, uh, pagan altar with the purpose of it being a, a retreat-based altar. Things that will help you reconnect with both yourself and your, your uh, 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 God sense, so to speak, or your higher self, your divine masculine, your divine feminine. Uh, things like that. Now, the altar table is something that you almost have to build because it's your core that lies within this altar. And this is the core that you want to connect with to remind yourself of things that you've forgotten about who you are, your connection with, with uh, deity, uh, uh, what your current path in, in your journey is supposed to be for some of the goals that you may have lost touch with originally. These things are all important. And when you plan your own uh, 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 retreat, one of the things that I do is I will write and script a small uh, uh, guided journey, so to speak, uh, initial guided journey, because I leave it unended because uh, your journey will continue for as long as you need it to for that particular time period, that particular day of that particular week or so on, you know, uh, uh, for each of the days that you request a distractionless uh, uh, free uh, uh, day for yourself, time period for yourself. Anyway, <coughs> I don't want to ramble. You write a script, an initial script, a guided uh, uh, script of different places you can go to, uh, uh, little life lessons that you can tackle one after the other along your journey. Now, uh, 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 as I said, leave it open-ended. Don't close it off uh, because who knows what might happen after the last uh, uh, task is done or after the last uh, life lesson is learned. You may have more, you know. Uh, the only restriction would be for your discipline for the time period that you need it to be for that for that particular day or whatever. Anyway, reconnecting with yourself is something I would tackle first. Redefine and reconnect with who you are as a person. Then reconnect and redefine your connection between you and deity. Then when you do that, uh, uh, reconnect and discover and remember what your path is, what your purpose is here for. It could be multitasking on different things. It could be a singular task that is most important to you. It could be anything. But setting aside time for this retreat is, uh, uh, if it's important to you, you will uh, observe it and participate in it uh, as a discipline you will help yourself to stick with it for this until you feel that you've reached a point where you have reconnected with yourself and reconnected with deity you feel a lot stronger and you start to remember your core purpose of some of the reasons why you are still here why you are on the physical plane what you are put here to learn or to experience or whatever your goals are so, it's not that hard to design a spiritual retreat for yourself, a, a, a pagan or a ritual uh, uh, retreat. The hardest part, I guess, is following through on it and using discipline to carry it through until uh, you feel that you've acquired the amount of value from it uh, that you're going to get. Now, as I, as I mentioned, uh, after each uh, journey that you go on each day, journal everything immediately after you come back from the journey while it's still fresh. Right down to a scent in the air, a smell in the air, uh, uh, how particularly thick a forest is that you may have been through or uh, uh, how pretty 
cottages that you happen to see along your way, or the interior contents of the cottage if you decide to go into it, and what events may happen or may not happen uh, in the cottage or in the forest. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. The things that you bring back from those little journeys that are distraction-free uh, uh, are extremely valuable in you being able to reconnect with once you come back from the in Rama, once you come back from your, your particular daily journey. Now, before I, this video gets way too, much, way too long, I'm going to end it here, but uh, uh, designing your own retreat is not difficult at all. It's extremely simple as long as you know what your needs are, what your spiritual needs are, what your intellectual, your emotional needs are. Uh, it's very easy to plan your retreat based along that line. But uh, in Christian retreats, the main focus is silence, zero distraction. And in a, a, a church setting or a monastery setting, or even a convent setting, uh, silence and isolation can be uh, managed. In the home, when you do your own retreat, it's still manageable, but it's a lot tougher to get people surrounding you to allow that isolation to happen. So that's the thing that you got to make clear to your friends and family, is that for such and such a time for each day, you're invisible. You're not there. No distractions. All right. I'm Symbian. Thank you for watching. And uh, uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment uh, if you like. Uh, uh, I appreciate all comments that you have. So, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be.